working on the uh, 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This one's a limited with a uh, 4.7, and I have the uh, Auto Blend air system. This one is the problem that I've read about online. Um, the fan blows, it sounds great, but not really no air coming out of the dash. AC is nice and cold, but I'm not getting any airflow. Same thing with the heat. No matter which combination you put it on or what temperature setting, setting you put on. So anyway, I read that the problem is the um, you have to switch the fan wires. Something about when you put in a, the shops put in a new uh, module, uh, a resistor or something, and then a, it's an update that they didn't read the instructions or something. I don't know, but it happens on all the Jeeps. So I'm going to try it. Since I had a couple codes, but they didn't really blend or this, that, the other thing. Everything seems to be working, moving. Um, I'm going to try this because it's easy. So, I took my glove box out, which you probably don't really have to. Because you can get to everything from underneath. Okay, but it's a little tricky because it comes out so easy and goes back in so easy. But I can't really explain it. It's got these little tabs. One's facing over, one's facing under, one's facing over. And when you put it back on, you just kind of start one do the bottom one and it just goes right in there it's really cool you do it with it in like this if you do it like this you won't be able to shut it these don't remove so you have to stick it up in there and then get your things in but you really don't have to take that out to do it if you're small and agile you can get right under here and pull this wire up it's plugged in here right under the that, under the glove compartment area and I didn't know how to pull the tab, so I was struggling a little bit because I'd never pulled one before. And if you don't know, you don't know where to push it. So I was trying on up from here, and I was trying all these things. But really, the thing is, get a longer flat screwdriver and stick it in here. And press that thing in this way to my left and pull the thing down. Here's what it looks like. See, there's no way if you come up this way, you really can't. I guess if you could get a real small screwdriver under here, which I was trying to do with this one. I was sticking this one up in there. Let me show you one right here. It's kind of hard with no light. Sticking this one up in here, you know, imagine the plastics right here. I was trying to get in between, but I couldn't really. It just kept going up here, and I was, I felt like I was going to break it. So I got the longer screwdriver and just pushed in the spot where I could see. It presses it in and pulls it down. Now I'm going to switch these wires, and I haven't done it yet, but they say that you can uh, release the tabs. Pull the plastic, blue plastic thing out. Pull the wires out, switch them, and put the lock piece back in. So I'm going to try that, see what happens. Uh, I did it before. Really have good light here. So you push in here, push it up. Yep, yeah, it pops that out. so fast I remember how it went back in okay it was like that so yeah if you can switch these guys peel this back a little bit I don't know if this is it but it's pretty easy to switch them so I'm gonna switch them because I've read everything done everything nothing did the trick so far so this is I, I really think this is gonna be the ticket black on the right. I guess we want to switch them. Okay, I need two screwdrivers. I'll pull that over and push the wire out. We have the right tool in the garage, but I don't really feel like going and finding it. I'd rather work here with like primitive tools instead. There we go, guys out. I said black was on the right, yeah. So we should be able to start this one, pull this one right out. So. 
See, I'm pushing the, the two little tabs that the lock holds still. I'm pushing them the, the way the lock would hold them. Really, my screwdriver's too big, but I'm going to go with it. Come on, wire. Come on out of there. Oops, my block won't pack in. Damn it, I hate when that happens. This is one of those jobs you just need the extra hand. <laughs> oh, joy. Okay, well, now you just get to see my frustration online. That's fun. It's like 95 degrees out, by the way. It's hot out here. both out together but that's not because then I have to deal with two at once black was on the right I gotta remember that okay oh. of course you hope you don't break these I'm trying to be sort of gentle okay that one's coming now that seemed easy not so, we're going to switch the plug. The things still have to face in like they are. So basically they have to stay how they are. So I should be able to just go like this. And the wires will now be switched. Because I said the black was on the right. Now the black's on the left. Just push them up in there. Get it locked in. Put my little locky blue thing back in. And plug it back on, which it just goes with the lock facing out. I'm going to turn it because we switched the wires. And we're going to stuff it back up in there, if you can see. stash the wire back up in there because I can't think what else it could be so that's probably gonna be it and that's gonna be so cool I'm gonna be so happy with my air working I think that's probably good enough mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> I'll wait to put the glove box back in now <laughs> all right let's give this baby a try Hopefully, let's go with it. Oh yeah, I can't believe I did it. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. It not only blows, but it blows like a bitch. It's really blowing. I mean, this is better than most of the trucks I've had. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, how about that? Thank you, Jeep Form. You're the best. That's so cool. Okay. Well, if you can hear with all this fan noise, I'll pop my glove box back in. I'm trying to clean it out. things like I said it's like over under over like these two and then that one but gotta get it up in there first because I did the last time and I had to get back off it was awkward you know it wasn't up there and I couldn't close it so you have to stick your little horns in there underneath first that's the thing that stops it from opening all the way then you have to get down here and do the over under thing I don't know if you'll be able to see anything I barely can and I'm going to try, uh, I don't even really know how to go about it, which one to go first. I'm going to go with this one first.
should look out on the outside. This should, should be under and under. You know it's right when your glove box works. Wow, this thing's blowing so great. Oh, I'm so happy. You don't know what it's like. I just I put a compressor and I fixed the air because it wasn't working. The compressor seized. And then, uh, so we have your emergency headlight. Updated GPS. Might as well throw this thing in the trash. I'm not even going to leave it out here. Um, shop would have figured that out or if they would have charged me 1800 bucks and then figured it out and then still charged me 1800 bucks and made up some fancy thing they did I don't know but uh all I can say is I am a mechanic and I've seen it a million times you really gotta check this stuff out 